Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. This is a new series consisting of five parts called the Discs and Ruins of Pyramus Fosse. We are analyzing a photograph called Olivine Rich Terrain. I'll include the link to this high-rise photograph in the video description below. It was acquired on the 17th of August 2008 at a resolution of 25 centimeters per pixel. And as usual, I'm showing you anomalies cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file. There's a crop from the low res JPEG. And in part one, we're analyzing the first fifth of this photograph located to the left. And uh, specifically looking at uh, those dark patches in which I found anomalies and artifacts littering the region. What put me onto this area called Pyramus Fosse is the discovery of this huge round object I made uh, some months ago. The link to the high-rise photograph or the CTX photograph rather is uh, located at the bottom of the image. And if we zoom in we can see a perfectly circular disk with a strange narrow part attached to it. I always compare this to uh, what looks like the Star Trek or Starship Enterprise without the nacelles. This disc is approximately 300 meters in diameter and appears slightly dome-shaped or convex in nature. So um, if you watched my last video I did uh, this huge bright disc about 15 meters in diameter and this is in a region just to the north of uh, the region where I found the huge disc. So this uh, object is about 15 meters across, slightly dome shaped, check it the perfectly rounded side it's got. So uh, is this some sort of technology, part of a structure, possibly even a sculpture. And uh, some of the other anomalies that I found also very close by to the west from part three, the Cydonia Neolithic artists and builders. So I found some other oval discs, round discs. Check out the good pristine condition this one's in also has very well defined rounded edges just like that one uh, VA in this image then we're going to look at uh, some of the other anomalies this part of the photograph is slightly blurry so when I zoom in it's not going to be as clear as my previous photographs but you'll get the idea yeah we're looking at another one of these disc shaped objects measuring about 10 meters in diameter so partially covered in sand on the left and a nicely rounded edge over there and on top of it we've got three smaller domes or spheres arranged in a triangular pattern some symmetry in that design and as I say, this part of the photograph is slightly blurry, so when I zoom in, I'm going to get some pixelation. And they'll be out of focus slightly. There's the next object, almost triangular, with a rounded apex. This one measures about 15 meters across. And uh, the large circular dome in the center is about 4 meters in diameter. And then it's got two smaller dark spots to the right. Also, these three appear to be arranged in a symmetrical triangular pattern. It looks almost as if uh, we could repeat what's happening here on this side over there in that part that's partially covered in sand. So if we draw a line through here, there's some symmetry in this design as well. 
also some type of craft or wreckage, maybe even a little habitat or structure. There's another one a bit similar in design, about 12 meters across. And uh, if we zoom in on it, also it looks like a plectrum shaped object and uh, also has some symmetry in this center line through the middle we've got that little dome and on either side of the center line we've got those two dark spots here we're looking at uh, a partially buried disc as well it's about I'd say 15 meters in diameter and uh, this is from a clearer part of the photograph if we zoom in on it we also see it's got a nicely rounded edge to it and I speculate this is another disc that's uh, two-thirds buried in sand and uh, that dark circular object in the center is about four meters in diameter so check that out, it's almost like a donut shape, little hollowed out section there in the middle. And then also some symmetry with two dark spots on either side of the center there. Looking at uh, some more flat objects, disc like in nature, yeah we've got one that's about 12 to 13 meters across the dark dome in the center there is about three meters in diameter and if we zoom in close it's got this rounded edge to it but it looks like uh, could be smashed up like metal plate check at the bends in it got that uh, little dome in the center and then on either side we've got those two protrusions as well more symmetry and geometry in that design and here we are looking at them comparatively and uh, what's common about these is uh, the three triangular smaller parts in the middle that's more in a straight line but check that out we've got a little triangle there another one here and then another one over here on this object so more common design elements here we're looking at uh, similar anomalies from Douglas Crater and uh, we've also got these disc shapes so they have three smaller objects in the center and there as well so not just in um, Pyramus Fosse, but also down in Douglas Crater. So these are strewn about all over the surface of Mars by the looks of it. There's another partial disc shaped object located yet to the bottom center of this crop, and uh, that is about 10 meters across, 10 meters in diameter. See it's got a rounded side to it, a smaller rounded part here, and a larger rounded part on this side. Very strange as well, very smooth bright surface, and this rounded side is just too perfect to be a boulder in my opinion. And there it is compared to the large bright disc that's 15 meters in diameter. I covered in my previous video which I'll feature in part 4 or 5 when we get to that part of the photograph and then yeah we've got some more of these uh, strange objects with skirts and little domes on them could these be little craft this one's about 10 meters in diameter and uh, the dome on top is about four to five meters in diameter and if we zoom up close you can also see it's like a disc shaped base to it with this little dome in the center also very similar to 
another one I found in Kanowski, which is also thousands of kilometers from this area. So I got this skirt or base to it with an oval shaped dome there in the center. This one's about the same size as well. There's another one, by the way, over here towards the right of this image. Check that out. There it is there, and it's about 8 meters in diameter. And the little dome on top is about 4 to 5 meters in diameter. Zoom up close, we can see the disc. So is this the classic flying saucer? Just speculating. Who knows what that is? So uh, compared to some others I've found in separate photographs, this one was taken uh, near Elysium Planitia. A little bit bigger, uh, I'd say this is about 12 meters in diameter and that there, the dome on top is about 8 meters in diameter. Another disc in uh, Hasi, which is also very, very far from this region of Mars. So these uh, can be found all over the Martian surface as well, by the looks of it. And uh, the title underneath each of these photographs is uh, the video title, which you can find these anomalies. So if you want, you can always go back and check those videos out. There's another one, this one's about 10 meters across and the little dome on top is about 4 meters in diameter. This one's got more of a sort of plectrum shape to it, sort of oval shape, got some symmetry at the back here with those two smaller rounded parts going off on either side of the center line and then uh, that little sphere or dome there, casting that shadow. Also similar to another one I found, this one in Ionia Terra, video is called Saucer Shaped Craft, found in Ionia Terra. You can check that out there as well. This one's uh, almost the same size, it's got a little bit more of a rounded side to it. Also very similar in design. Here we've got an elliptical object. Found many of these in previous regions of Mars too. This one measures about 12 meters in diameter. If we zoom up close, you can see it's got this rounded disc shape to it, partially buried. And then that piece there, with a nice arc to it as well. Very similar to two other similar objects. This one was in Argaia Planitia. It was about 10 meters to 12 meters in diameter, rounded disc. This smaller rounded part on the one side. <clears throat> and this is in Ulysses Rupes. Same sort of shape and design. This looks like a huge face mask. Sort of a dust cover. Very strange structure that. Now we're looking at two objects with very diverse geometry to them. This square one's about 8 by 8 meters and on top of it we've got this little pyramid or triangular shape and over here we've got a narrow sort of tic-tac cylindrical part in the center as well. Okay, here we're looking at this object. It's about 10 meters across and the protrusion or little dome on top is about 2 to 3 meters in diameter and a straight edge to it. Also located sort of in the center of this object. There's another one of these strange, looks like a big shield 
Uh, that's about 10 meters across. And the little dome on top is about two to three meters in diameter. So located right there in the center of this object. Another one of these, they're a little bit smaller. This one's about 10 meters tall. Check out that there as well. That looks like a little hanger or delta shape to it. Let's zoom in on this one. That dark spot is about two meters in diameter and it's also got some symmetry in this design. They're almost right angle there to it. So there they are compared to one another. And in another little disc shape there, this one's about six meters in diameter. A little sphere or dome in it that's about a meter and a half in diameter. And it's right there in the center of that disc. We're also going to be checking out this anomaly to the right of this larger image. Check there. I'll zoom in on that just now. There's another one also about six meters in diameter with a black spot about one and a half to two meters in diameter and it's located right there in the center. Very blurry part of the photograph but there they are next to one another. So you can compare the geometry and design there. There's another one of these narrow, almost rectangular objects, very unnatural looking. Uh, this one's about 15 meters long and that little narrow part on top of it is about five meters long, about a meter and a half wide. And check that out right through the center line there. We've got that little darker part to it straight edges it comes up to a point over there with a flat base over here almost like an arrow there's another one of these tombstone not that they are but they look like tombstones same sort of shape this one's about 13 meters across and about 10 meters wide you zoom in on it there's also some symmetry in this design, but two rounded sides. Maybe this is a flat bottom when it comes to a rounded side, partially buried, so it's difficult to say. And then on top, it looks like a ridge line or something cut or carved out of this yeah. Maybe this is a piece that's folded over. Let's compare it to another piece I found in uh, the Sidonian Neolithic Artists and Builders, part one. Also has this round shape to it with uh, that ridge line, similar to that. And uh, another object also in part one, similar design and geometry. It's almost like a sarcophagus. Another one of these plectrum shaped objects. This one's about 11 to 12 meters long. And the little feature off to the one side is about 4 meters across comes up to a point, two rounded sides there. I have no clue what that could be. Also some layering going on here, structures upon structures. This little rounded disc shape on top is about six meters in diameter. And uh, if we zoom up close, you can see it's got a little dome to it. 
measures about two to three meters across and it's parked on top of a like a rectangular object maybe that's a landing pad check out the area around this smooth round flat surface check that out it sticks out like a sore finger and one of those sort of v-shaped objects over there another tombstone for the lack of a better word to compare what they look like but check that out this one's about 10 meters across and uh, the dark spot has a diameter of about 2 meters zoom in it's got two rounded corners to it we're looking at a very long narrow piece again almost like a pillar support column or maybe even an obelisk this one's about 12 meters long and about a meter to two meters wide zoom in on it very straight piece very narrow as well you can see it's lying on top of a little dune definitely raised on either side check at the shadow that's being cast and it's very similar to one that I found in the Sardonia Neolithic Artists and Builders part 3 so about 12 meters long but a bit wider as well and you can see more sides to this one this part of the photograph was very clear as opposed to this one that's really blurry but you can get the idea there we're looking at another rectangular flat object with two little protrusions on it it's about eight meters long about four meters wide and the two protrusions on it measure about a meter and a half each same size and uh, placed on the center line of that object similar to some others that are found in part one and three of the Sidonian Neolithic artists and builders okay this looks like little structure again maybe a little outpost not quite sure this thing's about 20 meters long and uh, that smaller object over there in the center is about four to five meters across we zoom in on this reasonably flat surface to it it's got uh, some straight edges rounded corners and then this over here check at the narrow opening there and another one on this side equal angles and then that dark shadow that's being cast by this smaller object there in the center so also some symmetry in this design it even looks like a face maybe the head of here two eyes and the nose with the mouthpiece broken off perhaps maybe it's a uh, part of a sculpture who knows and then uh, similar to another one I found in part three of the Sardonian Neolithic artists and builders also got these two narrow slits check that out it's almost like a face as well maybe wearing a mask the two eyes over here the head over there the mouth and chin over here <laughs> I don't know Darth Vader okay yeah we're looking at uh, another object 
that might have uh, broken in half. This one's about 20 meters across. And uh, zoom in, we can see a narrow rectangular block on top, measuring about 5 meters across by about 2 to 3 meters wide. Look at these straight edges of here, got right angles to those. Another piece cutting here, almost a 90 degree angle there as well. And uh, it looks as if um, this is either two pieces that fit nicely together, or it's a larger object that broke apart. Not sure what that is either. Similar to uh, some other pieces found in part two and three of those videos, there. So you've got a rounded side, same as here, and then there as well. So with protrusions on them. Similarities there again. Yeah, we've got another. I can see one, two, three, four sides to this piece. Each side measures about six meters in length. Straight edges and uh, equal angles to this almost. A smooth surface. And what that is. And uh, also similar to two others, finding part one and three of those videos. Almost same size as well. And in this megalithic block of a year, that square part measures about, let's see, almost 10 by 10 meters. We zoom in on it, so that side there, this side here, yeah, about 10 meters approximately. Straight edges, rounded corner, check out the 90 degree angles there. And then it's got this smaller part coming off to it, to the left. Very similar to others, I found in Elysium Planitia near the inside lander. So I have a block of here. Yeah with the protrusion coming off on the side. Also another similar design from the same photograph in Elysium Planitia. Similar design elements again. Okay, yeah, we're looking at these two objects. The square one measures about 10 by 10 meters. And yeah, I'm zooming in on both of those. This little object on top is about two meters across. That one there as well. Check at the two straight edges here. 90 degree angle there. And then uh, parallel to this one side, we've got that larger object on top with a small little circle or hole cut in there, drilled in there. I don't know what that could be. Part of a building maybe. Check out that block. Another rectangular block. You can see three sides to it. 90 degree angles. Yeah, we're looking at this object up close. In a second, it measures about 15 meters across. And that little dome there in the center measures about two to three meters in diameter and it's right there in the center of this piece. Okay, so let's check out this region using Google Earth. Go over to Pyramus Fosse. And I say this is where I found that huge 15 meter in diameter disc. 
where some of the other anomalies from that photograph very diverse one effect okay um, this is the three parter that I did called the Sidonian Elithic Artists and Builders of Mars got that another disc strange Neolithic designs, check that out there as well. Okay, let's just have a look at some of those. Check at that partial disc. Another hexagon shape. Oh. Flying saucer object there. It's also about six meters in diameter. And is that what looks like a symbol of an eye. And the eye of Horus is close by to this region as well. Sarcophagus maybe. Some type of vessel. pyramid right Let's zoom out a bit as the eye of Horus in this region there it is there let's switch on the CTX get a higher resolution view of that eye there we go. Eyebrow, eyelids, pupil. And uh, it's also close to, in quotes, the Starship Enterprise. There's a disk shape. There it is, there about 300 meters in diameter <coughs> okay let's return to Pyramus Fosse there's the name Almost hints of a ancient Egyptian link. Up to an elevation of here. Take a look at the topography. This is the photograph we analyzed. See uh, some hills and mountains towards uh, the east. And then to the west, we've got this vast open plain very interesting region of Mars Let's have a look at some of the other anomalies I've found close by. See that triangle carved out into the surface. Looks almost like it's been strip mined. Another disc with a little dome in it. Oh, strange pieces, yeah.
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. This concludes part one. If you'd like to be informed as soon as I upload part two and you haven't done so yet, do subscribe and remember to hit the notifications bell. I'll see all of you in part two. Ciao for now.